Have you ever wondered what it would be like to embark on a spiritual journey? A journey that isn't about reaching a physical destination, but about exploring the vast landscapes of your inner self. A journey where the path isn't paved with stones, but with moments of self-discovery, introspection, and personal growth. Today, we're going to take the first steps on such a journey, a journey into the wonderful world of mindfulness. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is mindfulness? Simply put, mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and engaged in the here and now, not overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's going on around us. It's about finding a peaceful balance within ourselves amid the chaos of our everyday lives. In this journey, we will explore how mindfulness can lead to a more fulfilling life. It's not about eliminating all problems or achieving constant happiness. It's about learning to navigate life's ups and downs with a calm and balanced mind. It's about learning to appreciate the little moments of joy and finding peace even amidst challenges. As we embark on this journey, I encourage you to be open-minded and receptive. There are no right or wrong answers here, just different paths to explore. And remember, this is your journey. It's not a race or a competition. It's a personal exploration of your inner world. Throughout this journey, we will introduce a series of exercises and activities designed to cultivate mindfulness. These exercises will challenge you, push your boundaries, and most importantly, help you cultivate a more mindful approach to life. So, are you ready to take the first step? Are you ready to venture into the unknown, to challenge your perceptions and to explore the depths of your own mind? If you are, then buckle up because this journey promises to be both exciting and enlightening. Prepare to delve deep into the realm of mindfulness, a practice that could transform your life. What exactly is mindfulness and why is it so important? Before delve into that, do us a favor and hit that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Now let's get back to the topic. To put it simply, mindfulness is an art. It's the art of being fully present, aware of where we are and what we're doing, and not overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's going on around us. It's the practice of observing our from moment to moment in a non-judgmental way. Mindfulness has its roots in ancient Buddhist meditation practices, but it's not exclusive to any culture or religion. In fact, it's become a vital part of modern psychology and is used widely in therapies to manage stress, anxiety, depression, and even chronic pain. In today's fast-paced, always-connected world, mindfulness acts as a sanctuary. It's a refuge from the constant noise and distractions that surround us. It teaches us to slow down, to live in the present moment, and to appreciate life as it unfolds, without constantly worrying about the past or the future. The benefits of mindfulness are wide-ranging and well-documented. At its core, mindfulness helps to reduce stress. It trains minds to focus on the here and now, and this focus can bring a sense of calm and peace. Mindfulness also improves our focus and concentration. With regular practice, we can learn to quiet mental chatter, and this leads to better attention and productivity. Beyond stress reduction and improved focus, mindfulness contributes to our emotional health. It encourages us to our feelings without judgment or resistance. We learn to acknowledge our emotions rather than suppressing them or reacting impulsively. This acceptance can lead to greater emotional resilience and improved relationships. In essence, mindfulness is a journey of self-discovery. It's a way of understanding ourselves better, of cultivating an inner peace that can weather life's storms. With mindfulness, you're not only present in the moment, but you also accept it without judgment. The journey to mindfulness begins with a simple act, breathing. Breathing, an automatic process we often take for granted, plays a significant role in achieving mindfulness. It's the bridge that connects the mind and body, the conscious and unconscious. As we delve into the realm of mindfulness, we begin to understand the true power of our breath. Imagine your breath as a gentle wave, rhythmically ebbing and flowing. This wave is your anchor, your grounding force. It's always there, a constant companion in your journey towards mindfulness. Now let's embark on a simple, guided breathing exercise. This practice is not about changing your breath, but about noticing it. So, close your eyes if you're comfortable doing so, and take a moment to tune into your breath, just as it is. Inhale deeply, feeling your lungs expand. Hold your breath for a moment and then exhale slowly, releasing all the air. Notice the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. Observe how your chest rises and falls, how your body feels lighter with every exhale. Repeat this process. Inhale, hold, and exhale. Inhale, hold, and exhale. Do it at your own pace, focusing solely on your breath. 
Let your thoughts come and go, like clouds passing in the sky, but always return your attention to your breath. This simple exercise is a powerful tool for promoting mindfulness. By focusing on our breath, we anchor ourselves in the present moment. We become acutely aware of our existence, of the life force flowing through us. We learn to appreciate the simplicity and beauty of the present moment, and in doing so we cultivate a sense of peace and tranquility that transcends our day-to-day -day worries. Breathing is an act of living, an affirmation of our existence. It's a simple yet profound practice that connects us to the essence of who we are. It's a gentle reminder that we're more than our thoughts, our emotions, or our physical bodies. We're a part of a vast, interconnected universe and it all starts with a single breath. Remember, the journey to mindfulness begins with one breath at a time. Now that we've mastered the art of mindful breathing, we move to mindful observation. Mindful observation is an incredible tool for immersing ourselves wholly in the present moment. It's about taking a step back from our thoughts and emotions, and instead, focusing on the world around us. It's about observing, without judgment, without the need to label or categorize what we see. It's about simply noticing. So how do we practice this? Let's begin with a simple exercise. Find an object in your vicinity. It could be a pen, a cup, a plant, anything. Just make sure it's something you can see clearly. Now, observe this object as if you're seeing it for the very first time. Notice its color, its shape, its texture. Really take in its details. As you do this, try to maintain a sense of curiosity and wonder. Notice how your mind quiets down as you focus on this object, how your thoughts start to fade into the background. Now let's take this a step further. Start to notice the space around the object, the light reflecting off it, the shadows it casts. Notice the space it occupies in the room and how it relates to other objects around it. This is mindful observation. When we practice mindful observation, we anchor ourselves in the present moment. We step away from the constant chatter of our minds and immerse ourselves in the world around us. And when we do this, we give our minds a much needed break. We reduce stress, improve our focus, and cultivate a sense of peace and tranquility. But mindful observation is about more than just reducing stress or improving focus. It's about deepening our connection with the world around us. It's about recognizing that we are not separate from the world, but an integral part of it. By observing the world around us, we start to notice the beauty and wonder in the everyday. We start to appreciate the simple things, the things we often take for granted. By observing the world around you, you are essentially observing the world within you. From observing the world around us, we now move to the often overlooked art of mindful listening. As we journey through our spiritual growth, we often forget the power that lies in the simple act of listening. Mindful listening is an active process, a deliberate choice to fully engage with the sounds and silences around us. It's not just about hearing words, but also understanding the emotions and intentions behind them. Imagine a world where every conversation is a symphony, each word a note, and the silence in between a rest. The harmony lies not just in the melody, but in the pauses, the crescendos, and the decrescendos. That's what mindful listening is about. It's about tuning into the symphony of sounds, words, and silences that surround us in every moment. So let's dive into a simple yet powerful exercise that can help us cultivate this skill. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Now focus on the sounds around you. It could be the hum of your computer, the distant traffic, or the gentle rustle of leaves outside your window. Don't judge or analyze these sounds. Just let them wash over you. Notice how they rise and fall, how they ebb and flow. This exercise, done regularly, can help you tune into the world of sounds around you. But mindful listening isn't just about paying attention to ambient sounds. It's about truly hearing the people in our lives. When we listen mindfully, we don't just hear words. We hear emotions, intentions, and unspoken thoughts. We hear the whispers of the heart. This practice can transform our relationships, fostering deeper understanding and empathy. It allows us to connect on a more profound level, to truly be present for others. Mindful listening is a gift, both to ourselves and to those around us. It's a doorway to deeper connections to empathy and to understanding. It's a skill that, once cultivated, can enrich our lives in countless ways. When you listen mindfully, you listen not just with your ears, but with your heart. We move from listening to another essential part of our lives, eating. Often we rush through our meals, missing the opportunity to truly appreciate the food that nourishes our bodies. This is where the concept of mindful eating comes into play. Mindful eating is about fully immersing yourself in the experience of eating. 
It's about noticing the textures, the flavors, the scents, and the colors of your food. Now let's take a moment to engage in a mindful eating exercise. Imagine you're holding a single raisin. Observe its wrinkled surface, its deep purple color. Feel its texture between your fingers. Now place it in your mouth. Don't chew just yet. Feel its texture on your tongue, its weight. Notice any flavors that start to emerge. Now take a single bite. Experience the burst of taste, the change in texture. This is mindful eating. You see, when you eat mindfully, you're not just feeding your body, you're also feeding your mind. You're tuning in to the moment, to the here and now. You're creating a moment of peace and tranquility amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life. But mindful eating isn't just about the experience, it also has numerous health benefits. By eating mindfully, you're giving your digestive system the time it needs to properly process your meal. This can lead to improved digestion and reduce bloating. Mindful eating also helps prevent overeating. When you eat mindfully, you're more aware of your body's hunger and fullness cues. You're less likely to eat past the point of fullness, which can help maintain a healthy weight. Lastly, mindful eating promotes a healthier relationship with food. It encourages you to appreciate and savor your food, rather than seeing it as just a means to an end. It helps you appreciate the journey of the food from the farm to your table and all the effort that went into bringing it there. When you eat mindfully, you savor every bite and appreciate the nourishment it provides. From stationary practices, we now move to the dynamic practice of mindful movement. This brings a whole new level of awareness to our physical selves. Mindful movement is the act of engaging in physical activity with an acute awareness of the body and its sensations. It's about moving with intention and feeling. Imagine this, you are standing on a soft mat, your feet firmly grounded, your body relaxed. You raise your arms slowly, feeling the stretch in your muscles, the air brushing against your skin. You are not just doing an exercise, you are experiencing it. This is the essence of mindful movement. A popular form of mindful movement is yoga. It's not about perfecting the poses, but rather about noticing how your body feels as you move into and hold those poses. As you raise your arms overhead in a mountain pose, notice the stretch along your sides. As you bend forward in a forward fold, feel the tension release in your lower back. With each breath you deepen the pose, you deepen your connection with your body. Another form of mindful movement is Tai Chi. Known as meditation in motion, Tai Chi involves slow, graceful movements coupled with deep, rhythmic breathing. As you shift your weight from one foot to the other, notice the balance and strength in your legs. As you extend your arm in a smooth arc, feel the fluidity in your movements. Mindful movement, whether it's yoga, Tai Chi, or simply a mindful walk, has numerous benefits. It can improve flexibility, balance, and strength. It can help alleviate stress and anxiety. But more than that, it promotes a deeper connection with your body. You begin to understand your body's signals and needs better. You learn to appreciate your body's abilities, its limitations, and its resilience. You become more in tune with your physical self, realizing that your body is not just a vessel, but an integral part of who you are. Through mindful movement, you learn to respect your body and its capabilities. This respect fosters a healthier relationship with your body, one that is rooted in gratitude and understanding. And with this understanding, you move not just with your body, but with your whole being. Our journey to mindfulness does not end here. Rather, it's a continuous voyage, an ever-evolving practice. As we step forward from this moment, let's pledge to keep mindfulness at the center of our lives, not as an occasional visitor, but as a constant companion. Imagine how your day would look if you incorporated mindfulness into every activity. Let's take a simple example. When you're brushing your teeth instead of letting your mind wander to the day's tasks, stay in the moment. Feel the bristles against your teeth, the taste of the toothpaste, the sound of the brushing. It's a small change, but it can make a world of difference. The same goes for every activity, whether it's walking to the bus stop, sipping your morning coffee, or typing an email. The key is to engage all your senses to actively experience the present moment instead of passively letting it slip by. As you incorporate mindfulness into your daily routines, you'll begin to notice subtle shifts. You may find that you're less reactive and more responsive. You might discover a newfound sense of calm amidst the chaos. Over time, these small changes can accumulate leading to profound transformations. The long-term benefits of a consistent mindfulness practice are well documented. Studies have shown that it can reduce stress, improve focus, and enhance emotional well-being. It can help us cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves, fostering self-compassion and self-awareness. And perhaps most importantly, 
it can help us lead more fulfilling lives filled with purpose and meaning. So, as we wrap up this section of our journey, let's make a commitment. Let's promise to make mindfulness a priority, to practice it every day, in every moment. It's not always easy, and it takes time and patience. But the rewards are worth it. Remember, the journey to mindfulness is not a destination but a way of life. It's about embracing each moment as it comes, without judgment or resistance. It's about living fully, deeply, authentically. And as we continue on this path, we'll find that mindfulness isn't just a practice, it's a way of being, a way of seeing, a way of experiencing the world. Remember, the journey to mindfulness is not a destination, but a way of life. As we conclude our journey, remember this. Every step you've taken, every breath you've drawn, and every moment you've spent in mindful observation, listening, eating, and movement has served a purpose. They have all been parts of a larger quest, your quest, for mindfulness. Let's revisit the key points that we've discussed. We began by understanding mindfulness, a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment, while calmly acknowledging and accepting one's feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations. It's a simple concept yet so profound with the potential to transform our lives. We then explored the power of mindful breathing, a practice that anchors us in the present, keeps us grounded, and helps us manage our emotions. We learned that mindful observation allows us to see the world around us with fresh eyes, fostering a sense of wonder and curiosity. Mindful listening taught us to truly hear, to listen not just with our ears but with our hearts, fostering deeper connections. Mindful eating brought our attention to the sensory experience of nourishment, making every meal a celebration of life. The mindful movement emphasized that every action, every gesture, can be an expression of mindfulness if we stay present and aware. We learned that every aspect of our lives can become a part of our spiritual journey. The benefits of mindfulness are innumerable. It reduces stress, increases focus, boosts creativity, and improves our overall well-being. It helps us become more in tune with ourselves, leading to greater self-awareness and self-love. But this journey doesn't end here. It continues as long as you are willing to explore, to learn, to grow, Every day presents new opportunities to practice mindfulness, to be fully engaged in the present moment, to live life more fully, more deeply. So keep exploring, keep practicing, keep growing. Let mindfulness be your guide, your compass, leading you to a place of peace, joy, and deeper understanding of yourself. May your journey to mindfulness bring you peace, joy, and a deeper understanding of yourself.